Hello, welcome back. So we just came up, we're currently, we went up the stairs next to, um, what do you call it, to Edgewater's main gate. The stairs I decided not to enter on like the second episode or whatever it was. But anyway, yeah, we, we went up those stairs and it's just like a little guardhouse, which pretty much I've just emptied out of anything of importance, which wasn't a lot. Also there's this. Actually no, I'm not going to do that because I might need that to pick into his house. I want to quickly talk to Paravati. Yeah, huh? Perception. I notice you mention your dad a lot, but never your mother. On account of how I never met her. You mean she's dead? I don't rightly know. Ah, you have no I idea. Vision of the Spaceless Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting mechanical computers. The contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. Huh. So when I was born, I got sent here. Is that normal? I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I guess if it was in a contract she signed, I can't really say it's cruel because she agreed to it. I think it's very unusual. But oh well, if, if that's what they agreed to and that's how they want to live. Transition to Edgewater. Plasma cutter. I oh, yeah, our engineering skill, right? We do need to actually start putting points in other things, not just conversation, but we want to make sure we can absolutely charm everybody. Alright, so the barber shop, right? He wanted me to get some dirt on him. I love we just walk in. I mean, almost immediately I would say this is unusual for a barber shop. Spaces choice guards. Why does he have guards? Letter from Phyllis. Reception has shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call for whatever it is. Destruction of Spaces property choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay for his body price. This is going to ruin us. I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of golden teeth heirlooms passed down from his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We'll sell the teeth ni somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay for the body price. Ah. Well, first of all, that's absolutely disgusting literally looting from the dead but secondly that's brilliant because it means I can now blackmail you what can I do for you I know about Eugene why not use his teeth as collateral you know about Eugene how because you just stood there and let me walk to your back room where you have bodies I found a note from Phyllis ben, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Oh, you probably uh, can. Are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious, you're one. Wow. It is gross, measures, but it's gold. Miss Holcomb, desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Done. I'm see a collected use. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Awesome. I'm told he killed Eugene himself, by the way. A suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. 
Um. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse. And I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to... Ah, I see. So the town never had to pay a penalty. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Interesting that suicide seems to get punished by fees. I mean, it's good, it's just interesting. Kind of gives companies a reason not to have all of their staff, you know, want to commit suicide. Alright, so let's go hand this to our good friend Silas and let him know about the gold teeth that he can do up. Man, what, what quest are we currently on? Collect Ludwig's graveside fees. Do I have to actually collect this myself? I do have a shovel, so I can. I just don't know if that's something I want to do. Or is this... Oh, that was a lot bigger a jump than I had previously thought. Or is this... Just the other guy I have to collect from. I think it is. I haven't been here before. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Um. Graveside phase. I pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Um, what are you babbling about? War, the coming apocalypse, man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lime. I don't know what you're talking about. My luck. I asked for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. One of them simple folk, Jesus. Listen real close. Auto mechanical. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Really? Clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance. It's actually kind of interesting. I'm for hire if you're willing. Up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spaces char, few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Hey, if you're willing to pay. Proper armies pay <laughs> enlistment fees. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. Aha! What do you need done? They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Done. I'll let you know. Um, now let's see, so... Setting... No, not settings. What am I doing? Journal. I can return to Silas, but I can do that later. Die robot. Yeah, I figured that's probably closer. Because I can always just return to Silas on my way back and do like a round tour. Ooh. Is this like a train track or is this just a car lane? I don't know. I actually haven't seen many vehicles yet. I don't know what they use. And also... That is just outright lava. This seems like a really dangerous place to be living. That's a lot of red, by the way. Animals. Well, well at least we know they won't be shooting back at us. 
Alright, robot. Robot's got to be dealt with. I don't know whether you could have spoken to it or not, but I didn't. Is it just me or does this look like a bomb? I hope it's not what it looks like. Heavy ammo, I might as well just gather some shit from the junkyard. Adreno. What else is there? Anything else useful? How do you get in there? Some armor bits. What else we got? Anything else good? I think that's probably it. Because I doubt these doors. Oh no, it does open. We'll take some ammo, the pistol. I feel like this town is really degrading, like it used to be bigger. It seems like there's a lot of abandoned places, places that were stocked up till fairly recently that are no longer in use. I don't know, I just get the feeling this town's in a bit of trouble. Alright, let's go and report back. Robot's dead. Death to the machines. Organic supremacy. I don't know why, in every game I play I always end up turning against the machines. Any kind of machine species of synthetic intelligence. You gotta take it down. Always bad news. Bring us honor, soldier. You won't have to worry about the scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its head case? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. Probably best you do. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina. Lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. You hid your secret weapon in a lavatory. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. I guess in a weird way that actually kind of makes sense. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Okay. Sure. Well, before we go back into Edgewater, we'll go report to Silas and let him know that we're all all done here. Got all these fees. Blackmailed people. Got whatever we needed. Where's he? He's at the front here, just across that bridge. Okay. And then we'll go into Edgewater and look for this secret weapon. Also, that looks cool. That looks like this bridge might actually be extendable. Hey, Silas. Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. I can understand that. Uh, we need to talk about Eugene. Uh, here's the fees you wanted. Any trouble? All done. Here's the paperwork fees and signatures. Work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. I went out of my way and for you. you a drink sometime. Damn it! I was hoping for something more tangible. Uh, I suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Yes. This old guy's trying to hide his illness. With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. He was convinced you knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Okay. Well, sir, we just leveled up. And we got perks because this is our second level up. Okay. Let's first off, yeah, get that to 50, because then they're all 50, and then we can spend the points elsewhere, I think. So, so hack, 
Medical science. Increase the damage by your companions. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to become a better engineer. It's also the weapons would be good. So we have to get to 60 for that. <coughs> Sorry. Um, let's go tech. You know, it'd be, it'd be good to be a little bit better at the tech. Apply that. Perks. Let's have a look at perks again. Alright, so that was just... There's no getting that again. Fast travel when encumbered. Oh yeah, I haven't done fast travel yet. 100% additional ammo stocks on vendors. 25 less stability. Let's drop all vendor prices. Hell yeah, alright. Let's go back into Edgewater. Wait, why do we have two missions? Deliver reads. Oh yeah. Die robot. Find Ludwig's secret weapon. Let's do it. We do need to go and look for that power supply at some point. When indentured servants are freed, anarchy soon follows. The dissident. So dissidents are just anarchists. Ugh. Don't like anarchists. You're not a big drinker, are you? Is it a problem if I am? Yeah, you mentioned something I wanted to ask you. When I asked if you were a drinker? Yeah. You sounded worried. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Let me guess you're not a drinker. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't and then... Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. Um, okay. Wanna talk? I'm Happy to listen. Sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. She's making it very hard to get to know my companion, but okay. I'm just gonna go back. You don't mind now, do you? Really? No one's ever found this? You guys need to work on your janitors. Meant to scrub behind the toilet like daily. Also, what else is back here now that we're here? We don't have enough hacks to open that door. Okay. Well, let's go back to Ludwig. Let's see what else that little robot rebel, anti-robot revolution that he's rising has. What we gotta do... Get back over here and see what the hell he wants. So we got this weapon, I don't know what it's for. It's some kind of chip, so I'm guessing it's like information? Ow. Did I just actually break a leg? Like, is that a thing? Uh, I don't think it's a thing, it just made it sound like it was. When I was... Bring us honor, soldier. Bring us honor, soldier. Found that package you mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice Injury Customizing Unit. Injury Designed Customizing? For a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from... I guess that works. Sounds like fun. Fun? This ain't some quarterly performance review, soldier. Ours is a grave and sacred duty. Of course it is. And it's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. Okay. 
I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Pretty sure that's where I was going for the other missions. That works out. The old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You need to get a passcode from the boss. Already got one. Already got a passcode. Been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. <laughs> I need you to Just get don't be incompetent then. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. Seems simple enough. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Okay, cool. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. In the next one, sounds like we're going to the geothermal plant for multiple reasons, so, uh, bye for now. Hey, people, good to see that some of you made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this content, there should be much more like it on my channel. Feel free to subscribe to see some more. Check out some of my links in the description. I stream on Twitch three, four days a week. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put some links for some other videos on the screen that you can enjoy now. See you all in the next one, I hope.